So guys, I am uh, back in my channel, you know, it kind of died while I was gone, but don't worry, I'm back and I am, I guess I'm back for good now? I, I don't know. Anyways, I thought it'd be an appropriate comeback if I did another story time, and this one's gonna be a pretty interesting one too. So if you're autistic and you couldn't tell by the title, yes, a drunk guy actually tried to get me in Solus. So this is going to be a pretty cool story time. But before I get into it, there will be a link in the description down below to Solus's channel. You better go subscribe to it or else Bill Cosby will find your hiding spot. No joke, no scam. So yeah, I was at Solus's house. You know, we were just chilling, playing some video games. And yeah, we had this other kid with us. Um, I'm not going to tell his name because, you know, he might get mad at me at putting his name on the internet. So, you know, we're going to just call him that random kid, okay? And, you know, it was probably about midnight. And, you know, we were playing some Mortal Kombat or something. It might have been Minecraft. Who knows? This took place last summer, so this wasn't long ago, but this was before my YouTube channel was created, okay? Both of us started YouTube on the same day, so that would make sense for him also. So we were just chilling, and all of a sudden, Solus's dad comes upstairs, and his dad's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. But his dad can be serious, and this was a moment when he was serious, and he said to us, Don't come out of your room, okay? Trust me, you don't want to. Now, me and Solus didn't want to listen, we wanted to go see, okay? Now, the random kid in the corner did not go with us, because apparently he likes to listen to people, but if you didn't know that about me and Solus, we don't like to listen to people, so uh, now you know. So we go downstairs to see what's going on, and all of a sudden, we hear this loud bang at the door. Now guys, this bang was even louder than Bill Cosby banged your mom. I mean, the jail bars. I, uh, I uh, didn't say your mom. Guys, trust me, I didn't say your mom. Please, just please don't come after me, please. So yeah, we look at the door, and there's just this guy sitting out there, and this guy didn't look humid at all, because that's how drunk he was, but we didn't know he was drunk, okay? But then Solus' dad caught us downstairs, and he said, I told you guys to stay upstairs, and sent us back upstairs. But as we were going back up the stairs, we stared at the door, and all of a sudden, this guy just collapses to the ground, okay? Like, passes out big time. So we go upstairs, wondering what happened, and all of a sudden, we hear police cars come down the street. And as we look out the window, there's just police cars, fire trucks, and ambulances everywhere. I did not realize it was that big of a situation. Apparently, it was. So some guys get out of the ambulance and put the drunk guy on the stretcher and carry him off in the ambulance, and that was pretty much it. That whole time we were upstairs, Solus has a katana, like two katanas, and we were just holding them swords in our hands, like our life depended on it or something. So yeah, moral to that story, uh, don't let a drunk guy in your house, I guess, because, you know, otherwise you'll pay big time, okay? And that was basically this story time. You should drop a like, like, let's go for five likes, because, you know, that's how weak I am. And if you don't do it, I'll forget to take my medicine again, and you don't want that to happen. Now, I'm about to head out, and I will see you royal subscribers in the next video.